We are proud to present a standardized evidence-based efficient process for evaluating heart failure patients in the ED. Through research, we know that acute heart failure patients presenting to the ED need an efficient process, including an evidence-based triage pathway and a standardized process of care. Efficiency is very important because every hour delay in treatment in the ED is associated with prolonged inpatient length of stay and inpatient mortality. To make our triage decision evidence-based, we will use the EHMRG score. Those with a risk of mortality more than one or equal to one are high risk and need admission. Those with a mortality less than 1% are low risk and can potentially be discharged. The risk calculator uses easily available patient variables. Patient vital signs plus three lab values gets auto-populated into the calculator. Three other variables are manually entered. There is a wide variability in heart failure emission rates. Some physicians admit up to 65% and others up to 100%. Through the code heart failure pathway, we hope to offer standardized care for all heart failure patients coming to the ED. Therefore, to achieve efficiency, evidence-based and standardized care for all patients with a history of heart failure coming to the ED complaining of dyspnea, they should be treated through the code heart failure pathway. It is important to point out that all patients with the history of heart failure and complaining of dyspnea must have the code heart failure order set ran. However, it could be a PE, the flu, pneumonia, or something else. The provider will determine if Lasix is appropriate. Remember the rule of two to run the code heart failure pathway. Two inclusion criteria to activate the order set, history of heart failure and dyspnea. Two steps to start, activate the order set and talk to the MD about heart failure diagnosis and Lasix. If heart failure diagnosis is confirmed, two steps to proceed. Rapidly send lab work and when lab work is, is resulted, go to the ED narrator to calculate the risk score. If mortality is more than or equal to 1%, talk to the MD about possible admission. If mortality is less than 1%, observe for symptoms improvement and talk to the MD regarding possible discharge. Show the CRAMES video while waiting for the symptoms improvement. Two steps for discharge, provide patient heart failure specific handouts and set up outpatient follow-up by calling this number. Let's talk about how to run the order set. In the patient's chart in EPIC, select the Orders tab. Under Common ED Panels, look for ED Code Heart Failure Order Set. All of the details will be listed and you will click on Accept. As soon as you verify that the patient has documented vital signs and results for creatinine, potassium, and troponin, you are ready to calculate the risk score. Go to the ED narrator. Scroll down until you see Code Heart Failure on one of the toolbars and click on it. A new line appears titled ED Code Heart Failure. When you select it, the risk score calculator is displayed. Three different scenarios can happen in the results section. If you see 999, this means that labs or vital signs are not documented in the patient's chart. If you don't see a number, then one of the questions above have not been answered. Any other number you see is the risk score. A new and exciting added feature is that the risk score will display in the top banner and will be color coded. Red is for high risk, green is for low risk. So far, you have done a great job. You have increased acute heart failure discharges by 36%. Of those who left the ED, 30-day readmissions reduced by 38%. You also reduced hospital short stays by 48%. Most importantly, the average stay in the ED for code heart failure patients reduced by 48 minutes and increased seven-day outpatient follow-up by 21%. Your hard work is paying off, and please continue to do the great work. If you have questions, please contact the ED champion in your department, or you can email directly to our team at codehf at stlukes.org. Your feedback is important to us.